Welcome to wood burning class. Today we will be working on the Majestical Wild Plains Buffalo. Doctor, this is surgery in 101. Uh, well, I seem to have brought the wrong bag. Well, most of this stuff will still work. Hello students, my name is Dr. Wiggles and this is my partner, Dr. Drake. We are master surgerians that will be teaching today's class. And as already mentioned, we are pretty darn good at wood carving, so... Ah, I'll put the Morgan speed dial then. Okay, students, we are starting with forward thorax. It is a lot like horses. It runs away. I'm pretty sure humans don't have a thorax. Oh, they do. It's just really small. Could you tell us where it is then? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's hard to pinpoint. It moves around a lot. It's seasonal. Yeah, uh, very seasonal. <clears throat> we'll begin by demonstrating on um, this volunteer. Dr. Drake, could you get me a glass of water, please? Yes, of course. Victims. Oh, 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 no, no, wait, 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 wait. Uh, stop. Well, what did you think I said? Wait, you said something? Yes, uh, you know what, never mind. Uh, we'll just continue. Uh, the lesson. Now, with the help provided by Dr. Drake, we will examine his exoskeleton. Anyone have any, any of the students have anything to say about examining the exoskeletons? Humans don't have exoskeletons! Are you denying the grandmasters of wood breeding because we just might need another victim? Patient! Yeah, that's better. Thank you, Dr. Drake. And now as we dig our way through this vast, useless assortment of vital organs, you will find extremely repulsive things, such as blue veins. The, the problem with blue veins is there is they just don't fit in with anything else. Take my advice, students, and just throw them out. Well said, Doctor. I'll take it over for now. Listen well, for this is critical to surgerying. Behold, students, the most gruesome organ of them all. A beating heart. Do not linger for too long near this unnatural entity. It seems to pose a highly possible threat to all of us. Swiftly, you must grab a knife and stab it mercilessly. Yeah. So the, so some of the students are running out. Coward! We were just about to examine his exoskeleton. Uh, I do believe we are quite alone now, Dr. Drake. I do believe so, Dr. Wiggles. Uh, Dr. Do you ever think anybody is what going to watch our entire surgery? One can only help, Dr. Drake. Come on, let's try it on somebody else. 